Hi, welcome back to Cook It. I'm Chloe, and since it's coming to Mother's Day, I'm doing my mum's favourite recipe called tiramisu. And now, you see, I also have my ingredients all here, so I'm just going to explain them to you so then you know what they are. You will need five organic eggs, but you will have to split them in, in different ways. You'll need five yolks of them and three egg whites of them. You will need also five spoons of sugar, 500 grams of mascarpone, and you'll also need cocoa powder, and you'll need coffee. And since it's Mother's Day, I'm gonna get, I gave my mom some of these delicious sweets I'm gonna give at the top. And you'll also need these biscuits called Savoyardi. Savoyardi sponge biscuits in English. Now you're just gonna get a bowl and inside the bowl, you're gonna put your yolks, And you're gonna just gonna put, make sure you put half of the sugar. So I'll put, I'll put some, then I'll just check if it's like likely half. Oh, that would be half. Then you're gonna get your mixing electric thing and you're just gonna mix with it. So now with still with this, you're gonna add your mascarpone. You're gonna add it to one to two spoons at a time in this bowl. And then, I'm going to keep mixing for the whole thing. Now, I think I've done enough. It looks so creamy, nice and soft, so I'm just going to try some. Not too much. Mmm, very yummy. You can take off these and go and clean them because we will need them for the next step. Now, you are going to get a bowl. Put your egg whites in. Then, some at a time, you're going to start pouring your sugar. Now, I'm just going to start putting a piece of your sugar. And then mixing. Then, you're going to continue the process till you've done all the sugar. Remember, you know what's done when that bubbles at the top. Now that your components are ready here, and they're not like falling off. You're going to put this aside. You're going to get your other components and with a, a spoon you're going to get these components to get in here. But you must not put the spoon in this components. You know that in the sink. You're going to have to use a fork and I'll explain whilst I'm doing it how to use the fork. So that's because there's a specific way. So let's say I did that. I'm going to get this and you have to put it from top to bottom so when all the air comes in, and if you do it the other way around or a different way, then um, it will all rip apart, so you might not want to have, to have that. Now, our cream, I'm just going to test if it's nice and yummy. Mm, really yummy. You're going to get your biscuits, and you're going to get your coffee. You're going to put some coffee in like a mini container, and then first... With all these things, you're gonna get a bowl, well, like a cook pan, and then you're gonna put a thin layer of these ingredients over here, like you did. A very thin layer, like you are doing a brick, like you're a builder and you have to do all the bricks. You're doing first a layer, then you're gonna add another layer, and I'll show you how to do that when I go in that because you have to be very careful whilst you do this recipe because this recipe in like these steps to the last steps are really really hard so you might want to pay attention and like play around and do something else like that now I've done now you're gonna get this is a tricky bit you can get one of your biscuits you're gonna put it in the coffee spin around four times and then you're gonna put it on your layer and I'll show you how to do that like now. If your biscuits break, it's okay. Now, I'm gonna make a layer of upwards over here. Now, I'm just gonna continue with all the biscuits. And I'll show you when to do when you fold your whole thing. 
it's okay if they break like I said so then if they break you can still put them in even though they're not that attached just put, get a layer of this not too much but still a thin layer because who who doesn't have this cake without this you if you need you need the cream to do the cake if you don't have the cream then that's a big problem because the cream is the main part of the cake now for me it is all white so i'm gonna get another biscuit and do the same process you're not just gonna get more coffee because it doesn't touch top of the biscuit for example it doesn't touch you're gonna keep doing it until like literally you can't get any more coffee there Now, you see, I have no more coffee. So, now I'm gonna just put, since my cream, I'm just gonna put another layer. I think I've done white complete. So, now for my favorite part. I'm just gonna pause the video here so that now I can go and get my sweets for Mother's Day. Okay, so now I made an extra one for myself. Now, it's Mother's Day, so, well, nearly. So I got my mom a plate so, because I went shopping, nice flowered. And now you're gonna do nearly one of your favorite parts, I'm guessing. So you're gonna get your cocoa powder and you're gonna have a spoon. Oops, I'm just gonna move it aside. You can get a spoon, you're gonna put it in your strainer. I will put the cocoa powder here, spoon here. And you're just gonna put it around everywhere. If you don't have enough cocoa powder, you can always go and get more from wherever you keep yours, like in a cupboard or anywhere else. Now, I've decided I'm going to use six on this one and two on that. Since I'm, I'm going to do my first, since I picked, I'm going to do my one. And I'm going to put a chocolate one and a white one so I can both take a taste on it. Now, I'm not going to eat them all because there aren't many. So, I'm going to say three chocolate and three non chocolate. Depends how my family really likes um, choc dark chocolate or light chocolate. I don't really mind, really. So, I can take whatever I want, really. So, now, I'm going to pause the video, cut the cake, put it in the plate, ask my mum to come so she can try the cake. And then I'll eat mine too. Without further ado, I'll say bye and the cake will be ready. Thank you for watching.